search and recovery units, international survey firms, leading players in the offshore oil and gas industry, world leaders in oceanic research, the United States Navy, and the navies of countries from around the globe. For more than 50 years, EdgeTech and its affiliate company, ORE Offshore, have provided these industries and more with the most advanced underwater high-resolution acoustic imaging systems, acoustic positioning solutions, and underwater communication and control products. Founded in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and with an additional engineering and R&D facility in Boca Raton, Florida, EdgeTech and ORE Offshore offer you the flexibility of completely customizable systems that meet your most in-depth specifications. EdgeTech, clearly superior imaging begins with the 4125 side scan sonar. Hi, my name is Rob Morris from EdgeTech. This is the 4125 side scan sonar system. This is an ultra high resolution dual simultaneous system that uses Chirp technology. Comes manufactured of all stainless steel for low maintenance. It has a breakaway shear pin. In the event that the towfish strikes something on the bottom, it'll break the shear pin and tow from the back to get it off some kind of a snag. Transducers are adjustable for shallow water operation. It also comes with a heading, pitch, and roll sensor and a depth sensor so the operator can know the attitude of the towfish. Uh, frequency sets are 400, 900 kilohertz and 600, 1.6 megahertz. And the 1.6 would be the ultra high resolution for search and recovery operations. It also comes in a pole mount option for bulkhead scans and hull scans or a hull scan bracket for strictly hull scans. So the tail fins are attached to the tail cone with a thumb screw and the towfish assembly is now complete. Now I'm going to attach the tow cable to the towfish. First thing we do is attach the safety cable to the tow arm shackle. This cable comes standard 50 meter lengths. Any length can be purchased by the customer upon request. The electrical connection is made with two wet mateable connectors, like that. Okay, so now we're ready to set up the 4125P portable top side. This top side's fully waterproof. Connectors are waterproof as well. The DC input is 12 to 24 volts. Anything in between there will work. It also has an AC input of 120 to 240 volts. The ethernet connection is for the data that comes from the towfish. Plug that in. Tow cable connector, and that just plugs in here. And then you can see we have indicator lights for fish power and for topside power. The 4125 system comes with a laptop that's ruggedized, comes preloaded with Discover software, coverage mapper, and target logger software as well. It also has wireless capabilities, which means we can connect wirelessly to this top side so that we do not need to be connected via the LAN cable. Today I am going to use the LAN cable. So I'll plug it in here. I'm going to also use the GPS today. So we just plug the GPS into the COM port. This allows us to get GPS positions on all targets that we find today. System power turn on is right here. Today we're connected to a 12 volt battery. We have top side power and we have fish power here. And now we're gonna go ahead to the back deck and we're gonna do a pre-deployment test. We use this test to check all the functions of the towfish before we put it in the water. Today I'm gonna to use the wireless connection to do that so we can just disconnect from the land. We can go out the back deck with the laptop and we can go ahead and do our up test. Okay, so now we're connected wirelessly to the top side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the pre-deployment test. First thing I'm gonna do is rub the transducers and that checks to see that the system is receiving sound, which it is. I'm also gonna check the heading pitch and roll and the depth sensor. So everything is working. Now we're ready to go ahead and deploy the towfish and start searching. I'm gonna explain a little bit about the Discover software. We designed it to be very easy to use, yet have all the features that somebody would require. Um, to turn it on, you simply go to towfish control tab and check the sonar on for the high frequency and the low frequency. You can use either one or both at the same time. Recording the data is as simple as going to the disk tab and checking the record box. The files are automatically recorded at this point. We also have alerts that can be set to alert the operator if he is too close to the bottom. We have a minimum altitude alert. We also have a maximum roll, maximum depth, and maximum pitch alerts. Okay, and now we're ready to put the towfish in the water. We typically tow it about 10 feet off the bottom, and that gives us the best image possible. Okay, so now we have the towfish in the water, it's towing behind the boat, and we're just getting ready to go under a bridge. 
you'll see on the top screen we have the high frequency and on the low screen we have the low frequency. Here you can see the bridge pilings and the footings of the bridge. We use full spectrum chirp technology with this system. And what that allows is longer range and better resolution than conventional side scan sonar systems. Right now we're going by some pilings, some piers, as you can see here on the left hand side. And again, target logger, simple right click of the cursor brings up the target logger screen and we can go ahead and, and zoom in on these targets save them or measure them if we want to. We can also go ahead and take measurements on these pilings simply by clicking and dragging the cursor. We can get length, width, and shadow height which tells us how high the target is off the bottom. Once we've done all that we can save these targets to review them later. The targets are also saved in the coverage mapper screen and here you can see the X which indicates that target that we just saved. So if we wanted to go back and rescan that target, we can simply look at the coverage screen, bring the boat back around, and go over that X marks the spot again. Okay, now we've recovered the towfish, and the only maintenance required is to rinse it with fresh water. Well, thanks for coming along and seeing the 4125 system. I hope you saw that it's easy to use, simple to operate, and reliable. Uh, we offer 24-hour, 365-day support. We also offer remote support by dial-in to the towfish. Um, if you want more information on the EdgeTech products or the 4125, please visit our website at edgetech.com. See you later.